And welcome to Fun with Isolations. Um, if you're not familiar with an isolation, it's when you take any fixed point on the staff, usually the end of the staff, and hold that at the center of your circle, and you rotate the rest of the staff around that point. Oops. So something like this. Now usually it's done in basic form in split time with two staffs. So you get this kind of kayaking motion here. Now as far as my grip goes, I'm pointing my thumbs towards each other. So hold staves, point thumbs, lock in. I like putting one wick in front of the other actually, because it kind of, when you spin fire, it doubles up the fireball and you get a giant ball of fire right in front of your face. And it kind of lights your face up in the dark and audiences like it when it looks like you're about to hurt yourself. But don't. You can take this, and then with pretty much like like any other spinning move, you can turn your body 180 degrees, and now you're doing it backwards. Back around, 360, and then do continuous isolations. Back this way, and that's your basic isolation. Um, one move that I got from Dale, actually, um, never really seen anyone else do it, is you do your isolation, and there's other ways to get into this, but just for demonstration purposes, step in the middle. Now I'm doing the same motion, there's just me in the middle. And you don't have to finger spin or anything, it's just the same motion, you just have to Move your, uh, get your shoulders stretched out some. You really want to keep the stabs parallel as possible here, moving smoothly. And when you change direction this time, front staff's going to go behind you, back staff's going to go in front of you. And if you can sit, constantly change direction, you get these cool isolated meltdowns. And again, you can take this and 60 back to here. Now you can take this, go the extra step, put this staff totally behind you. Now I'm doing a one beat waist wrap. This side, over here. What I think looks cool with this is if you add the extra beat. Let me get back here. So now I'm going to take the front staff, I'm going to bring it to the back wall, take the back staff, bring it to the front. I am finger spinning the back staff to get this to work. But then you can end up doing these. Switch sides. So as you go to each side, the staff that's behind is going to be finger spinning. You start facing backwards so you can maybe see what that looks like. From extra meat. All that kind of stuff. Now you can also do an isolation right on wall plane and keep it there. Um, do this properly. You're going to have the finger spin. It's just how the human body works. So you can kind of do this sort of thing. Just, just keep doing this for hours and eventually it'll get cleaner and cleaner. Not, got it, I got it pretty much there. Oh, so then once you can do that with each hand, you can do them hands apart while playing. The motion doesn't change. You don't have to do anything special. I'm doing it in split time, same direction. Stop this one, same time, same direction, same time butterfly, split time butterfly, and those are fun. And you can also do a wall plane isolation with the wicks together. Um, there's a couple options for that. You can either just do it until your arms lock, and then anti-spin out of it. 
So the stabs are still going the same direction, but you're kind of reversing the direction your hands are moving. When I do this, I don't like the finger spring, the one that the lower staff, I guess how it works. I think it looks smoother if you just kind of lock your arm. Watch this kind of come around. See, I'm going to just sort of lock my arm down. I think it works better that way. Maybe it's just easier and I haven't learned that much with finger spinning yet. But once you can do this, you can do the butterfly hybrids. So one's going to isolate, one's going to anti-spin. So you're doing your wall plane isolation. And that. You keep going, you end up in butterfly crosser, which you can do there. Come back out to here. Same direction, back to butterfly. Wasn't the best transition, but you get the idea. Play around with that. Now, what you say, if you want to do wall plane isolation, wicks together, and you don't like anti spin, and you don't like changing direction. Um, the answer to that came to me a few days ago. I saw a video on YouTube um, of, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name, it's, it's H I R O, it's either Hiro, Hiro, he's a Tokyo fire dancer, and he did a move where um, he's coming across, he locks and his arms cross, he does little crosser tosses. Like this, back and forth. Now this is really cool to watch, especially on fire, keeping the status parallel. It's also a pretty nice drill for throwing, catching, agility, hand-eye coordination. But I thought, I wonder if I can do that, but isolate it. Now that, to do that, you're going to have to finger spin both stabs and throw in an isolation and isolate while you're doing it. So it gets pretty tough, especially when there's a ceiling involved. Not quite there yet on this. This is the idea. And that's about all I have for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.